Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn, Popcorn. In, bed. in the Bed. Thank you for being here. We mm -hmm. are excited to watch a movie with you tonight. Hope you yes. guys are feeling festive and twinklings, inklings of the holiday spirit creeping in. Fun. Um, so this, do you don't know what we're watching? I have no I idea. I will tell you. <laughs> we had a Thanksgiving movie poll. Okay. And this is the winner, and we are watching Grumpy Old Men. Okay. <laughs> so not necessarily one that you would associate with Thanksgiving in your mind. Yeah. But I feel like I've heard the title before, but I honestly know nothing about the well, movie. Well, so. me neither. I actually thought there's a movie called No Country for Old Men that I also get a lot of suggestions for, and that's what I thought we were watching. I'm like, I think that's like violent. I'm like, why am I going to watch this for Thanksgiving? But I was confused. So in the past, uh, I have a reaction to planes, trains, and automobiles, which is so classic Thanksgiving. You haven't seen that one. No. You should. That one. Yeah, anyways, these titles do not give off Thanksgiving vibes. I know. So. Grumpy Old Men, it is. We both, zero clue. <laughs> um, I'm hoping it's like a light and tender and feel good movie in the I end. I feel like it's gonna be like comedic a little bit. Yeah, I wonder. Well, the title, like Grumpy Old Men. Yeah, you kind of feel like that. I don't know one person that's in it, something. but we're gonna watch it for Thanksgiving. So this will probably air right, right, right by Thanksgiving on YouTube. So I hope you guys all get your hot turkey and family and listen to the song Thanksgiving Day by Ben Rector. It's so cute. I've just been that's blasting good. it in my kitchen. Um, yeah, so happy American Thanksgiving to everyone. That's right. <laughs> American Thanksgiving. And let's watch a show. And if you are new here and you want to vote on some polls, like a Thanksgiving movie poll. We actually kind have fun. a martial arts poll going up this Ooh. next week. Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon. And then, Carly? Uh, like and subscribe here. That's Swing it. Swing on a bell. Yeah. There's a bell. You never know what the bell yeah. means. <laughs> It means they get notified when if we when we have a new video go on YouTube. Oh, I'm assuming that's what would happen if you subscribe. No, I guess not. Okay. Okay. Well, you learn something new every day. Okay, here <laughs> Welcome, we go. Welcome, everyone. Okay, guys, we're gonna try this giant <laughs> tub of popcorn. This was sent to us, and Garrett's is a famous popcorn shop in Chicago. Fun. Very gourmet. And I actually don't know what flavor this is, but um, the person who sent it said it was Halle Berry's favorite flavor. Ooh. So. Oh. So. Oh, it's the Chicago the mix. Chicago mix. I love the Chicago mix. What do you like better, the cheese or the caramel? I do not like the Chicago mix. Okay, more for me. I'm gonna I'll take some of the caramels, maybe. Oh, I do yeah, not I want it touching the cheese. Uh-uh. What? Really? Really. That grosses you out, the combination. Mm -hmm. I mean, in my head it does. But I'm also not a cheese, like a cheese person. Carly so, like, the cheese doesn't popcorn. like cheese. I don't, I don't mind cheese. I'm just not a huge cheese person. So and like I'm the like, thought of cheese popcorn grosses me out in itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the white cheddar stuff, I'm like, oh, can't do it. The caramel one's very good though. Yeah, it's very good. And it's like soft. Mm -hmm. uh oh, uh oh, I got you. Oh, it's so touching. Okay. I can't do it. <laughs> that's that's Mick. Burgess Meredith. Oh. I have to talk to you. He's one of the grumpy old men. Of course he is. Mr. Gustafson, will you answer the door, please? I, I can't keep coming back here. You have to talk to me. We you know you're in there. There's a letter for you, Mr. Gustafson. Morning, kid. Hello, moron. <laughs> Who's the guy yakking at your door? Just mind your own business, will you? Mind your own business, will you? Tie your shoelace. You'll oh, fall on your up. stupid head. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the guy from Dennis the Menace? The, the I don't know. Neighbor? Somebody moving into the old Clickner place. I wonder if you gentlemen could tell me uh, where I could find Mr. Gustafson? No, sorry. Mr. John Gustafson? That's right. Oh, yeah. You mean the uh, low life egg sucker, John Gustafson? <laughs> Man's crazy, loco, <laughs> hanging out around those kinky strip bars. <laughs> Have you seen him? No. Sorry. I think <gasps> no. 
No. Would you give him this and tell him he must contact Mr. Yes. Snyder? It's important. What do you think he is? I don't know. or something? Or like, oh yeah, like he's like he's not paying his mortgage? Yeah, or like, the bank. <laughs> For that ice there. Slippery. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh. Jesus. I thought they were going to go on like a walk together or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about? I know. It's got to be like, yeah, government or something. Also, this guy was very limber for his age getting out that window. Yeah, that's very true. 30 days. Yeah. I wish I could play the piano. Me too. Notice of intention to levy. Yeah, I think it's gotta be like a victim. foreclosure, yeah, or something. The second even closer. And Remington Does every old man have a chair like that? Yes. <laughs> well, we've got snow coming into our area all week long. Oh. Invite his friend over. What the hell? <laughs> His long jaws! Yeah. I mean, that would be annoying. Oh, this is the new people moving in. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Holy, holy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What year did this movie come out? I don't know, actually. Feels 90s. Yeah. I was like, I know it's not her, but it looks like Donna from Suits. Mm -hmm. You know what Jacob said? Jacob said that old Billy Henschel was killed in a car crash. Cleared his car straight over the bridge into the Mississippi. Lucky bastard. What? You bet. <laughs> hey, how is he anyway? Died on impact. Jacob. Doing real good. Real busy and everything, but he promised to come over for Thanksgiving. Do you think that's his son? I think so, yeah. Jesus, Quincy Adams. <laughs> also, all this snow is making me feel cold. I know. <laughs> and just dreading, like, winter driving. Yes. And... Yes, all the things. Need a six-pack of Schmidt and I'm out of bait. Shiners or waxworms? I can't afford those damn shiners. Waxworms are 75 cents. Well, I'm in Italy. Chuck, we're talking about worms. Now, where do you think you're gonna get worms <laughs> this time of year? You could retire in Florida <laughs> just from selling me worms. <laughs> hey, is Pop out there at the shanty? Always. And the moron? There's lots of ice out there, Gustafson. You think the moron is his neighbor? Neighbor. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, are they best friends or no? I know. <laughs> Men gotta be mean to each other. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi. That's his dad? Someone moved into the Klickner place. Did you mount her? Dear heavens. I can get behind fishing. I don't know if I can totally get behind ice fishing. I feel like the best part about fishing is like being out on a nice sunny day yeah. and like... I know. At least they have it inside like a little... Yeah, a little hut. Thing. Yeah. I wonder if this is for like hobby or for like a... to sell fish. Mm. I'm thinking hobby, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> Caught my limit! You know damn well I throw back what I'm not gonna eat. Like that 40 pound muskie you're always yakking about. Nobody ever sees you with these monsters. <laughs> You're gonna love it, Goldman. Oh no. Oh! Go to work, baby. Gross, gross, gross. That's, that's, that's cruel. Gross. Smells so bad. Oh my god, they've come for me. I'm gonna check who it is first. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Hi. You see, I was. Hi. I saw your light on, and I was just wondering if I might use your bathroom. <laughs> what? Your toilet is broken? Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. The house seems so empty tonight, and I do so love bathrooms. What? Was this the snowmobile thing? Yeah, I think so. You know, it's better than having your palm read. Well, uh, you give me 30 seconds in a person's bathroom, and I will give this you... This is 1.30 in the morning? Yes. Is she dressed like this? Her toilet's not broken. She just... Yeah. Oh. Fascinating. Now, don't you think it's time that you finally introduced yourself? I took some of your mail yesterday just to find out who you were. <laughs> My mail, that's a federal offense. I know. Uh -huh. I teach American literature at Winona State University. Oh, she is a 
force yes, of nature to be reckoned with. <laughs> My manners. I'm so sorry. I'm Ariel Truax. I'm John Goodwin. Yes, you know I that. know. Yeah. I'm like so uncomfortable at what also intrigued by her. Heterosexual or homosexual? Jeez Louise. <laughs> That's a perfectly legitimate question. Well, maybe in California, but here in Minnesota. <laughs> oh, it's just the middle of the night, and I don't know. Would you like me to leave? No. Yeah. <laughs> don't be a stranger, neighbor. Oh, and John. King's Rook to Queen's Bishop Three. <gasps> oh, shoot. <laughs> it was like... A train wreck that I couldn't look away from. Yeah. I'm so intrigued by her. Do you think she likes him or she she has that to everybody? Yeah, I can't tell <laughs> because she called out his, the other yeah. grumpy old man, Max, I guess. I got a pinch sciatica. It'd make your lumbago look like ice train. Pain. He wants to talk about pain. I had a gallstone the size <laughs> of a baseball. When I had the shingles, you see me in here complaining to Phil about it, huh? Did you? Shingles, shmingles. <laughs> had my ulcers. <laughs> Good morning, John. Uh, oh, you must be Max Goldman. Isn't it a peach of a day? Oh, listen, I have something for you. It was dropped off at my house on your mail. <laughs> Phil, have my herbal therapy oils arrived yet? Special delivery from California. She has taken this town by yeah. storm. Yeah, she is. And I'm sure that we're going to see a lot of one another. Goodbye, John. Yeah. Arm touch. <laughs> Careful, fellas. Huh? Hey, Mel. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. Oh, good. Oh, it's it's Daryl Hannah. What? Oh, I'm getting rid of that old thing. I don't play it much. It sits around and it collects dust. Think you selling it? Yeah, I do. Okay, which hand? Oh. This one? No, that's the one. Yeah. People are asking about you. I keep telling them that you and Mike are doing just fine. Mike and I aren't fine. That's what I thought. We're going to separate for a while. Yeah, your mother wasn't where I was for 20 years. You think I wanted two jobs? I was doing Dad. that for you and for Brian. Dad. Your, your mother. Sorry, I, 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 get, I keep. I never liked him anyway. <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> She seems to know you. Does she always do that? <laughs> <laughs> the hot and cold in the sun. Hey. <laughs> Hydrotherapy, look mm -hmm. at her. Come on, I gotta win a million bucks. I do love a routine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ariel? Ta-da! Hey, oh. Jacob, you got my vote. I don't have time, Pop. I just dropped by to give you the placard for the yard. Just a drink, a little drink. Come on in. Give me a minute, will you? I'll be with you in a second. It's point four <laughs> million. That's our estimated jackpot tonight. Did you have to cash it live back then? I don't know, maybe. Well, we couldn't go to Google what were last night's numbers. Yeah. Our first <gasps> number is a... No. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a... <laughs> Schmuck doesn't know what's happening. He set an alarm for it. Goldman, <laughs> you. You're a child. <laughs> Tell me, Jacob, it isn't me. I'm sure John started every fight since 1940. 38. <laughs> hey, John! Oh, come here. I'm not apologizing to anybody. Ain't that you, criminal? <laughs> This is something between me and your father. I don't say anything on one condition. You put one of these in your yard. I'd be proud to, Jake. Not one word to your old man, remember? Have fun, Johnny. Yep. <laughs> They're committed. Yeah, seriously. Up yours, Gustafson. <laughs> Pew. Oh, no, he didn't even know about the fish yet. Oh, no, don't get a car accident. Oh, watch the road. Oh, I hate this. Oh, oh my gosh. Watch it, bonehead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Max was telling me about your new neighbor. Yeah, new neighbor. Yeah, she came over to see me last night. Uh, she what? Yeah, uh, 1.30 in the morning. Why would a woman come over at 1.30 in the morning? Why do you think, bonehead? Oh, yeah? yeah. Now you tell me you're going to go after her. She's too, uh, she's too disturbed. <laughs> 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 Women fall too hard for me. They get obsessed with me. <laughs> like one of them fatal attraction things. You guys 
are the biggest bullshitters in the <laughs> <laughs> you trying to tell me you'd rather park your wrinkly butt on a frozen piece of ice kissing up to a couple of buckets of fish bait. That's what they need though. Yeah. Someone to just tell them what's what. Yes, they know. Come over and have some turkey with us. Come on over to my place. Melanie cooks up a real feast. Thanks, fellas. But you know those old boys over at the VFW, they expect me. Tell me something, Chuck. Do I stink? Yeah. Not you, smart. <laughs> I could smell it in the car. This stink. Is it me? Yep. So, oh you gotta boy. clean out your car, sir. Yeah. And not while you're driving. Go to a quick quack, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> 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 I don't want to hide it either. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. But like I want them to be actual friends too. I'm like, you guys gotta hang out. I know. They're, They're both, both lonely. lonely. Stay there, you little bastard. <gasps> oh my gosh. Max is here. Why is he not using like his words? You were always there to save me. When Billy Gerber locked me in his treehouse, you were my knight in shining armor. I always knew, you know. Knew what? That you had a crush on me since sixth grade. You used to watch me with your dad's binoculars. Wondered why my curtains were open just enough. I thought I was lucky. I just did it to torture you. <laughs> How come you never asked me out? Shoot. Mel. Hi, Jaggy. Uh, Mel, is the turkey supposed to be smoking? See ya. Hey, John. <laughs> what are you? I like how they're nice to each other's kids, at least. We got a new neighbor, did you hear? Everyone in town is talking about this man. Yeah, she hasn't been out since 1120. What are you doing? Clocking her there, John? Well, she keeps odd hours. <laughs> well, that's true. I haven't had sex for 15 years. <laughs> Good talk. A lot to lay on your neighbor's <laughs> son. Why don't you just go over and talk to her dad? You spent half the meal staring out the window. Is the squirrels on a roof? That's what I was staring at. You got a lot to offer. Well, I got something to offer. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Pop, do you know how many minutes this thing needs to cook? Sure, it'd be nice to have some turkey right about now. How about you guys go over mm -hmm. there? I thought you said Chuck was going to VFW. He is. It's like he's making a house call. <gasps> what in the hell is he doing there? Jealous? <laughs> What are you, what? <gasps> He's in! He's in! Let's <laughs> cross the threshold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, um. Hi, Chuck. Some game last night. Double oh. overtime. Is that game, Chuck? Oh, sure. You were with the guys at the VFW. <laughs> the turkey this year was delicious. He saw you. you were there half the night. <laughs> There's some experiences in life too rich to try and put into words. <laughs> Wait a minute, you mean you and she? I am not talking about sex. Your old pal failed you, huh, Chuck? Oh, couldn't rise to the occasion? Okay, okay, if it wasn't sex, what was it? It was an awakening. Ariel reminded me that I was alive. It was like being young again. Oh, tender. <laughs> Couldn't get it up, huh, Chuck? <laughs> That's not just a woman living across your street. She's an angel. Oh. <laughs> What's he messing with? I think so. <laughs> Oh no, I don't want them to compete. I know. <laughs> oh, this song right now. Oh. oh, he got all dressed up. My heart, I can't handle it. Look at all the crap you get. <laughs> Excuse me, the stuff you got. <laughs> oh my God. Your TV, it's got no guts. You know, I think it works quite well, just the way it is. How the hell does she see any shows? <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> His holy moly is on, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the model was my husband. Boy, he sure wasn't pleased about modeling in the nude. He's, uh... Passed on. Oh, my heart hurts I for know. him. He's having a hard time. Do you paint? Sure do. I paint the shed every spring. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs some form of release. 
I fish. Fish? I can see the beauty in that. Yeah? Would you do me the honor of accompanying me to my ice shanty tomorrow? I'd be honored. But all these men are gonna fall in love with I her. I know. <laughs> oh. 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 Lost him. Whoa. Oh man. I can't believe she's holding it that close to her. Why is she holding it like yeah, that? Yeah, I'd be like, uh, you could take it in the net. And then the release! The release! What release? Oh yes, it's beautiful. No, I'll tell you what's beautiful. This monster on my wall. Stop. There can be no stuff here. <laughs> here we go! Where'd you get this fishing bowl? Oh, I uh, snagged it about an hour ago. The only damn thing I caught all day. Hey, Chuck, guess nice. what Pop found? Chuck! What? Oh, no. I think we're going to be great friends. Oh, fr <laughs> friends is good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about some supper tonight? I already have made plans. I'm sorry. Wait, why do I have so many emotions right now? I know. <laughs> I'm worried about Chuck. I'm worried about Gustafson. He's going to get his heart broken. Yeah, this one, Max. Hey, well, Gustafson looks like the best man won. You always were a lousy loser. <clears throat> He's dead. Who? Chuck. How? Last night in his sleep. In his sleep. Lucky bastard. <laughs> you want to clock me? You think you can take me? Come on. Give it your best shot, shrimp. It's not worth the effort. Get out of there. Chuck. Just go give it back to him. <gasps> Make peace. Okay. Or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill him. Damn you, Goldman, you... John Gustafson, Elliot Snyder of the Internal Revenue Service. Oh. Slick. His daughter or Ariel? Or Max. Or Max. No one cooking is robbing you. Hi. Oh. I, uh... She's just in his house. Uh, what are you doing? Cooking? In my house. Chuck. We can be thankful that we had the privilege of knowing him while he was here. To Chuck. To Chuck. Mm. Oh, he's so cute. I know, he is really handsome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ariel. Stop charming all of them, Ariel. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually terrifying. Have you ever been snowmobiling? Just once. It's fun, but it's scary. Yeah, I've never been. I happen to come by these two tickets for the gopher game. Oh! Hmm, schmuck. Gustafson, we had an appointment! Mm, just beautiful. Yeah, what are you thinking? Oh, I'm sorry, I just... It's the snow. It reminded me of the last Christmas I spent with my husband. George, are you all right? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm making a snow angel, remember? Oh. She does have a zest yeah, for life. She really does. <gasps> Ow. Oh. <laughs> I mean, when's the last time you made a snow angel? <laughs> you believe in angels? Oh, yeah. They're all around us. I think I see one. <sighs> what a line. Seriously. Oh. 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 <laughs> Uh-huh. I'll have you made it in three moves. Shouldn't we get to know each other a little better first? <laughs> oh, you have a wonderful smile. You should wear it more often. Yeah, I bring it out on special occasions. <laughs> it's witty. My daughter Melanie and her mother, and... She's beautiful. I wonder if she has kids. Yeah. My son, Brian. Oh, he's so handsome. Lost him in Vietnam. <gasps> and these little guys. <laughs> it's me and the moron. Oh. You mean you were friends? Well, I was 10. I didn't know any better. What could make two grown men spend most of their lives fighting each other? A woman. Uh, yeah. What did I know? I was just a kid. Which I am not anymore. I 
think it's kind of late. I guess. It's time for bed. God, you are dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh, no, she was giving him... Yeah, all the signals. Yeah. I thought you said... I said it's time for bed. Oh. Wait, what about... Uh... What, Max? Get your Max. He's just my friend. I'm not prepared. See, these days they say you have to do safe sex. John, when was the last time you made love? October 4th, 1978. Oh, I think we're safe. <laughs> His sweater. I know. He's adorable. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, who do you think won the woman back then? John. But oh, they're no. both widowers, right? I think so. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I can't take it. Oh, are those for me? Oh, oh they're yeah. just beautiful. I got them for you. Thank oh, you. I can't handle it. Oh, this hurts my heart. Me too. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> this is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Think he's having a nice thought? I hope so. Me too. Oh. Of course, he's not gonna show him that he did something nice for him. Oh, he's moving his shed. Yeah, I think so. He did something nice! Oh my gosh, that's too far! Oh my gosh! That's so much money! And he doesn't have any money! You know, else is gonna get taken? You think a lousy old pole is gonna replace her? <gasps> Ooh, ouch. We'll settle this. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're old. They can't handle this. What are, why are these people cheering? Old men. Yeah, someone needs to jump in. Chuck would jump in. R.I.P. Oh. <gasps> You broke my nose. I didn't break your damn Look, nose. She's mine. Oh, says who? Says me. Yeah, well, she came to me. That's true. You steal her away, just like you did me. I was married to the woman 20 years. She was no bride. You'd ended up with me, you never would have had Amy. She and was a damn sight more loyal than me ever Absolutely. was. Absolutely. So. Oh. So, well, did you? What? You know. Oh, God. Hey, that's, that's a private man. You better yeah. tell me. All right, we did uh, a horizontal mambo. It was the greatest sex I ever had in my life. You She's did. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. Is it a foot? Okay, it's a fish. Yeah, an icicle. Yeah. Thought it was an icicle. They are gonna someone hey, help them. Don't make me have to separate you two again. Damn kids. <laughs> and live with them. Can't shoot them. Can't <laughs> shoot <laughs> How are you going to support it when the Don't IRS takes your house away? I can't wait around for another Amy. Ain't got time. That was cruel. So they both wanted May back in the day. He got May, but then May wasn't loyal to him, it I sounds know. like. And he had a great wife, an Amy. This time you win. <gasps> but... She also doesn't want him. She just wants to be Max's friend. Hi there. Are you not going to keep our date tonight? A snow angel. You inspired it. Don't be dumb. He's gonna do the thing. He's gonna push her away. Dude, Ariel, I think it might be a very good idea if we didn't see each other. <gasps> Ariel, please. I, first place, I'm too old for you. What is that? But, uh, mainly, I don't like you coming over here anytime you feel. No. I'm not like you. I, I, I'm not afraid to be alone. I am not afraid to be alone. I just prefer to experience things. I like being alone. No. The only things in life that you regret are the risks that you don't take. Oh, but you wouldn't understand that. You're too big at it. That was uh, not, not good, good well. communication. Why couldn't he just been vulnerable? I know. Hey, Jakey. Congratulations on the election. That's kind of old news, though. John, where you been? Melanie said that she's uh, going to come by tonight, you know, Christmas Eve. So why don't she drop over a little later? 
no. Merry Christmas, John. <gasps> It's all because of his financial I problems. Know. Ariel shouldn't have gone to Max, though. No. I mean, she didn't look like he. she loved that. No. His arm was around her either, so. Hi, John. Is that Mike? Hi, this must be Mike. Uh, yeah, well, I... Uh, I mean, I do want the girl to right. have both of her parents right. together. Hey, John. <gasps> What's his face? Uh, Shooter McGavin? Yeah. <laughs> Thought you two were getting a divorce. Dad. I had to get some things worked out for myself before we could work on us. Did you get it worked out? Uh, yeah. God damn, that's great, Mike. Maybe the rest of us should just put our lives on hold, huh? Boil yourself up with enough booze and bullshit. Should we do that? What the hell do I know? I'm a 68-year-old man. I got no house. What are you talking because about? The only things in this life that you really regret are the risks you didn't take. You see a chance to be happy, you grab it with both hands. Oh, hey, Jackie. I don't know what's wrong with him. He just exploded. Oh, no. Breaking Mike's here. Pop didn't have any mistletoe in the house. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Hey, you're next, big guy. Oh. I, uh, I just came by to uh, uh, wish you all a Merry Christmas. Wasn't that sweet, Mike? Sweet. Mm, short. That was rude. Mm -hmm. Immediately don't like him. Could I ask you a favor? Sure. Could you have a word with your dad? See if they can't make up for Christmas. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas. Why is my heart hurting so much? Ooh. You know, Melanie said that John just exploded and walked out. So, he tried to steal her away from me, but I won. Could you at least uh, talk to him? He knows where to find me. I don't like him. I never liked him. You know, it's Christmas, Pop. At least you could go down to Slippery's and make peace with the man. I'd rather kiss a dead moose's butt. <laughs> that was specific. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, shoot. Sun got through to him. All right. But Plus. <laughs> Jacob says that Michael and Melanie are uh, going to get back together again. Melanie is getting a divorce. The reason I came down here tonight is I wanted to tell you. Oh, will you spit it out? I haven't got all night. Plus, Mike took us to get down here on Christmas Eve to thank you. To thank me? I take it back. I don't thank you. I want to ask you something. Well, what? I ain't got all night either, yeah, okay. you know? <laughs> These men! Do you, love Do you love her? Sometimes I think you've lost whatever friggin' marbles you ever had. You gave me back my old fishing pole, and I told you thank you. you. I suppose I gotta be realistic. He thought they were talking about the fishing pole? Forget it. What do you mean, forget it? Don't give me that forget it. Ariel. What about her? What about her? <laughs> you made me feel sorry for you. She chose me. She did. What's the difference? You got her anyway. Oh, how does this end? I don't know. I feel like him and Ariel have to end up together. But do Max and him make up? It's Christmas. Ah. Oh no, left arm. Heart attack. <gasps> no, no. It does not end like this. Oh my gosh. Come on, Max. You gotta find Come him. Come on, Max. <gasps> Run. Oh my God. Hey, John. John! Please don't be Are dead. you dead? Not yet. But I don't want to die looking at your ugly face. <sighs> we stay right there. Come on. I'll be right back. Okay. Hurry, 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 hurry. Help! Help! <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Could you tell me where Mr. John Gustafson is? Are you friend or family, sir? Um, friend. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, no. Merry Christmas, John. You putz. <laughs> well, Goldman, you better have a very good reason for standing me up this morning. What's wrong? Hi. Look, I know that you said that you wanted to get rid of me, but isn't this a little drastic? You know, my husband passed away at Easter, and if you leave me at Christmas, I won't have any kind of holidays to look forward to. So what do you say? Let's get out of here. 
guy could be dead tomorrow, for Christ's sake. The court order is in, and my hands are tied. He'd never cheat on his taxes. It's not a matter of cheating. It's a matter of, oh, miscalculation. Your friend received union health benefits for 20 years. He omitted to inform us that his ex-wife had a part-time job. Ooh, about $13,000. Well, he can raise that. When combined with 11 years' worth of interest... Oh, no. $57,000. You'll never find that. He will when we sell his house. Oh! All because his wife had a part-time yeah. job? They don't do that, do they? I feel like they do. He's literally in the hospital. And from a heart like attack. Christmas? Max, what's going on? Somebody's barricaded the doors. Well, watch this. Oh, break it in. You get Give it me that. You think the snow's gonna fall? This isn't gonna stop me, Mr. Goldman. Yes! <laughs> Hot water. Jacob! Got it, Pop. I don't understand. I'm Jacob Goldman, mayor of Wabasha. We got a 30 day season and assist order from the court. Can't touch this house. <laughs> Why are church bells ringing? I know, I was just doing the same thing. A wedding, right? Whose wedding? A funeral? Are they in black? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Jacob? Hey, Mel. Wow, you look great. Thanks, so do you. So how are you? I'm good. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, sorry about the, uh... Divorce, right. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. They're at a cemetery. I know. Ready for this? No, not really. Listen. Man. Is it Chuck? If you need someone to talk to. How long has it been? No, it's been way too long for Chuck's funeral. Get your asses in here! <gasps> Who's What's him? happening? It's not Mel. It's not John. Mel would be more like distraught. Where have you been? Wax pop. Oh! <gasps> Don't call me a schmuck, you cut. He's oh, so oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Oh, they tricked us. They really did. <laughs> oh, good. I thought she was going to kiss him on the lips, too. I was like, it's too much. Oh, Max. Here's a house. Jacob got him to waive the penalties in the interest, and I took care of the 13 grand. <gasps> oh, I'm really gonna cry now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, they're so happy. You smell something. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what about putts? <laughs> Might be their love language. I think it's their love language. The daughters of the American Revolution are having a little dance. Don't wait up for me. <laughs> I mean, my meme. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was him humming. <laughs> Go over and see Melanie, Jacob. It's just like the You Belong With Me Taylor Swift video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> What do you got there? Broccoli. <gasps> Holy. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. I'm Ronald Reagan. I uh, used to be president. <laughs> Looks like Chuck's gonna put the hot dog in the bun. Dad! Please. Watch my tuckers to get here on New Year's Eve or Christmas or whatever the f is. <laughs> If you were stuck with a furry glide, you put your crabs out in the front, it's over sight. Thank you, Shana. What's happening? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like Chuck's taking a ride Is he doing these on the fly? I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who left? <laughs> Aww. Grumpy old men. Pretty adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I. I really liked that it was different. Yeah. They're like, let's make mm -hmm. a movie about old people. Yes. And these and grumpy. this love story. And they were just like so like 
we all know men like that. Yo, like, my goodness. Yeah, it's just like so classic. Yes. You know? Yeah. And so endearing yes. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got a love story. I know. <laughs> and I, I love Triangle I, too. Sure. Like, I don't know if I like Ariel. She like, yeah. <laughs> she But bold. then she really, Chuck was right. She like made you feel that zest for yeah. life and reminded mm -hmm. you what's important and mm -hmm. made you feel young. Yeah. It was really cute. It was really cute. Yeah, it was really fun. And like, I like that it was like Thanksgiving-esque and Christmas-esque, but also not like over the top, you know, just yeah. like part of the story, which yeah. I really like. Because yeah. it, I don't know, it like subtly gets you into the spirit. Which totally. Like. Yeah, those guys were just, like you said, they were endearing and cute and mean and <laughs> so mean and ridiculous to each other, like when, but like so fun. That picture, like when they were, they. I know. They've known each other since they were 10 lives. years old. Yeah. And he was his best man. And he painted off his house. Oh, so tender. I mean, he did put his fishing shanty into the water, <laughs> too. So <laughs> he should take six grand yeah. off that loan. Yeah. <laughs> that moment when the nurse was like, are you friend or family? And he just like was like, I'm his friend. Yeah. That was like really cheered up. That was Me really too. Really yeah. Yeah, that was actually a pretty perfect Thanksgiving mm -hmm. movie, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion, everyone. Yeah. Always getting us out of our movie box. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching along. I hope you have a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and see you next time.